All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. Got a little box in the mail from Sightmark, and this is a really, really cool little mini red dot, and I'm excited to, to uh, put it on a rifle and test it out. And I'll tell you the reason why, because a long, long time ago, my first red dot I'd ever bought was this guy right here. This is their Sightmark M-Spec, and this guy has just been an, a great performer for me over the years, and I tell you what, as far as the value does, goes, $199 is going to do you really, really good. But anyway, I want to talk about this guy right here. This is the mini red dot. And basically, this is the first of two parts. This is the unboxing. We're going to mount it on the rifle. And then we're going to take it to the range. And I'm going to shoot the dog leg out of it and see how it works. Now, one of the coolest parts is the first time I ever saw a mini red dot on a rifle was when I saw a video with Pat McNamara in it. And I was like, I really want to try something like that. So we're going to put it on this rifle right here. This is the number one rifle. And this is one of my competition guns. It's a 14 and a half inch pin and welded barrel. I thought it would be ideal to put this guy on there. So let's see what we got. All right, so the box here includes, this is the Mini Shot M-Spec LQD Reflex Black. All right, digital switch controls, 12 hour auto shut off, which is very important. One MLA click adjustments, really good. Unlimited eye relief, a red three MOA dot protective shield, and 100% waterproof. Now, I will tell you this. I went ahead and read the directions on this thing, and one of the details that is most important to me with any red dot or spec out there is the rating, the IP rating. This is IP rated for 67, which means you can submerge it up to one meter for 30 minutes. It's not bad. And if you guys are planning on going, you know, scuba diving and doing some serious operations, I would imagine that somebody in the government level is going to be buying your red dots for you. So a little further on the details, we've got a 21 millimeter objective it does take a battery of a cr1632 and i guess imagining the different battery levels you've got 300 to 30,000 hours the maximum caliber up to 308 aluminum matte black 22 negative degrees to 120 and 3.4 ounces in weight this particular kit does come with a riser now let's go ahead and open this up first of all you get the instruction manual right here and one of the things that I wanted to look at real quickly was the different levels of brightness. Brightness settings are 1 and to 10. So there's 10 different brightness settings and an on and off. So there you go. Comes with a little cleaning cloth. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. This particular model does come with a riser. We're going to go ahead and see if that is an absolute riser. And the nice thing about these QD portions here is it's not just a QD. Uh, these are actually secured with a latch. So you actually physically have to move that forward to bring it on. And there you go right there, which is a huge improvement basically over this guy right here, which if you're not careful, you can hit that button. I don't, I've never had it come loose on me, but you never know. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. It does come with a protective cover. It's pretty nice. And there you go. Now, one of the deals is I'm, I'm not a big, huge fan of riding all over this thing, but they've subdued it down well enough to where it's not so in your face. I do like that. Very nice. The adjustments here, you can uh, up, turning left, one MOA per click. Then you've got this one right, turn left, go right on your windage. Very nicely pronounced. It's got down button on this side. And an up button on this side. Either button will turn the red dot on. As you can see right there. Very nice. The battery's already been installed. Love this brightness. That dot is very nice. Now to turn it off, you go ahead and you just press and hold the down button. There you go. And one of the cool advantages is, yes, it does have a 12-hour auto off, which is very important. And I do like the fact that you can just reach up there and click the button to turn it on. Bam. Well... There it is. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so I have not mounted this to the rifle yet, but I do like the fact that you've got a QD attachment point here. You can put this on a pistol and or you can push it and place it on this riser. Now, I plan on running the riser on this guy. We're going to take this out to the field and we're going to run it to death. I'm going to go ahead and test it out the waterproofing. We're going to put it in a stream and see how it handles the stream. I want to put it back on the rifle, see how the re-zeroes, and we'll go ahead and test it that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look what else is in the box. And I want to take a look at the adjustments and see how well those look. In the box, you're going to receive, I guess, let's go ahead and empty these out. There's a couple extra screws in there. 
and that's a torque wrench screw right there. So you've got that. And then I like the fact that they've given you the option to use a screwdriver to adjust your elevation and windage versus on this one, you actually have to have an Allen wrench with you. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. See how those clicks are. The clicks are subtle. Not very tactile, but I'll, I'll be okay with that. And at first, I thought that this was a little, this little mark right here was just a, uh, a blemish in it, but it's actually an arrow button because I see they're on both sides. So it's nice you can keep track of where your reticle was at one point. Okay, good. Now, you've got two of these torque wrenches right here so you can remove the base mount right there. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to the Picatinny rail as it sits just so we can see what it looks like on the rifle. All right, so now you get a bigger picture of what this rifle looks like. It's just a plain old Jane AR. Because this is a compact, lightweight looking rifle, I thought it'd be really ideal to go ahead and put this on there. So you go ahead and do that. You can adjust the tension or the measurements on this guy right here just by adjusting the uh, this knob, which is nice. And that thing is on there. Now, the cool part about it, it's a little, you gotta get really in there to see what that red dot looks like, but there you go. Now, what I want to do is put the riser on it and see how that works. And we're going to change out the riser. So here we go. And I think how you do that, and I'm not reading, haven't read the directions yet, but you're going to take these torque wrenches, torque screws. Let's go ahead and, and loosen those up. And as you see, there's some placement pins just like that. Put it just right there. Bring it back in, put it in place. Go ahead and put those screws back in. I've always wanted to give this application a try just because I'm, I've am i never really run a reflex other than the original sight mark. I've usually wanted the, like the barrel type red dots and they've always done well for me. But this is really, really cool. The entire system, and I imagine you probably want to go ahead and put some Loctite on there if this is how you're going to run it permanently. But this whole thing, just like this, let's see here. weighs 3.7 ounces. So the rifle, I think is this one rifle is weighs in at 6.10 pounds, six pounds, 10 ounces. So we're still under a seven pound with a full red dot optic. So that's what it looks like, just like that. And guys, that is awesome. That is really, really nice. I like the way that it works. So that's it. So there's the mounting, that's how it looks. But I'll tell you what, I really dig the light action seems to be pretty sturdy. We'll go ahead and beat the daylights out of it and put it in the water and see how she runs. But anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Check that out. This is the range review of this little guy right here. This is the Sight Mark Mini M Spec LQD. Now, what I mean by LQD, it has the quick detachment lever right here, which has this skeletonized riser. As you can tell by the last video, I might not be a big fan of those skeletonized risers, but what I am a big fan of is the minimalist look of this guy right here. In this test, I just want to make sure, one, I'm not going to beat this one up. I don't really think I want to do that. Uh, I may. But we're going to take it over and dump it in the stream and see how it works. We're going to pull it off and see how well it comes back to zero. Let's fire off a couple more rounds. Stand by. The, the one thing I do love about it, the dot on this specific red dot is very, very clear. It's very round. There's no spot. It's almost like it's just perfect. Now, it's a 3MOA dot. Uh, one of the things I didn't cover before. Now, in the overcast we have today, we're expecting a lot of snow. I'm not having any issues. As a matter of fact, I had to turn the, the actual red dot down. But we're sitting here at the 50-yard mark. I'm just doing some quick acquisitions. Coming up, putting it all on, and seeing what we can do. Let's go ahead and keep firing, and I just want to see what my impressions are of this guy right now. We may go ahead and remove it from the QD mount. We'll mark the location and see if we can get back, make sure it goes back to zero.
Man, I'm liking this thing. What I want to do now is go ahead and throw this thing in the water. We'll go ahead and test it out for its uh, IP67 level, which is submersible up to uh, one meter for 30 minutes. But just to rush things up, we got a stream over here. I thought Money Bags, he's going to run the camera today, and we're going to take it over there and just dump it in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove it off of here, and we'll take it down in the river and dump it. All right, thanks for Money Bags doing the uh, video. We're going to take a look at his rifle here real quickly, and uh, man, i tell you what, what a great little firearm he's brought on. So this thing's done pretty well. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to test to make sure it's supposed to be uh, IP67. So we're going to take it and drop it right down in the water. And I know we're in the mud, but I don't care. There it is. Nice and muddy. Hit the water. There we go. Get it all done. Nasty. There we go. I'm going to let that sit in there for a few minutes. I'm going to mark it because I have a tendency to lose stuff. <laughs> but... Uh, and it is on at this time. And the nice thing is, this has got an activation 12 hour shut off on it. And uh, that's basically it. Alright, I think it's been long enough. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the water here if I can find it. There it is. And wash it off. So there it is, guys. She's still running. I don't anticipate we're going to have any problems with this thing uh, because the IP67 is pretty nice. Uh, what I wouldn't mind done is putting the fresh stream so we could clean it off real good because I'm going to put it back on the rifle, but that's it. Let's see, we'll go ahead, it can push water up in there just like that, and that's it. So let's take this thing on back over here, put it on the rifle, and uh, see how she uh, comes back to zero, hopefully with this mount. I've learned that I do not like these skeletonized mounts, uh, but, you know, these are pretty easy to come by, uh, to replace. The only problem with this one is i got to figure out if this is uh, what type of mount system it is married up to. Uh, Fit and Fire asked that question the other day. I sent the manufacturer a request for that information. We'll see what happens. So let's get on back over here and we'll do some more shooting. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing back in position here. And uh, I'm just hoping and <laughs> crazy because uh, I do have a camera down. Here we go. guys are knowing where that's hitting more than I do. Uh, let's go ahead and run a couple more rounds with it and see how she does. Stand by. Alright, well guys, that's it. I'm going to run down there and see how that looks. You guys are seeing it from better than I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, well, I guess we could go ahead and put it on the bench to see really if it's zeroed back. See how close it is. Why don't we do that real quick before we give up but I will tell you this, I love the application. I didn't know how much I was going to like this thing, uh, but I saw Pat McNamara in one of his videos running something like this and showing it to a couple other people. I am seriously really liking the mini red dot rifle application. This thing's awesome. So let's go ahead over here to the table. We'll go ahead and bench it real quick and see how close we can get. I was getting about a 2 MOA deal yesterday. That was with some reloads. I'm shooting 5.56, 55 grain black, uh, not black hills, Lake City. Let's see how close we get. All right, so here we go. Got close. Make sure if we get within two inches, I'll be fine. All right, boys and girls, let's run on down there and see how we did. Not that I would even know it, but in my opinion, I love this thing. I love the application, and uh, I give it a thumbs up. I wouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't have a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the uh, details down below for this guy, specifications as well as the MSRP from Sightmark uh, and their preferred vendors. Anyway, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom comes at 5-5-6 with a mini red dot. Good boy to 32. Out.